you probably click to watch this video because there is AI boom going on in the market and you want to get AI on your resume but there is not much clarity on various AI career roles. In this video, I'm going to talk about technical and non-technical roles available in the AI industry along with skills required for them and salaries. Building a career in AI requires a lot of hard work. So if you're looking for a shortcut, something like learn AI in 15 days and get 5x salary hike, then please leave this video because that is not going to happen. Let's start with technical roles. I am showing five career options available when it comes to technical roles and each of these roles requires technical and non-technical skills. We call technical skills as tool skills and non-technical skills such as communication as core skills. The first role is data scientist. Data scientist role is short of like extracting butter out of buttermilk. Here the buttermilk is data. On that, as a data scientist, you can use descriptive analytics to extract butter or to extract data insights, or you can train a machine learning model to perform predictive analytics. On the screen, I am showing the tool skills and core skills required for a data scientist role. Here, you need a strong foundation in programming languages such as Python or R. You obviously need to have strong mathematics and statistics fundamental and you need to be good in communication because you'll be dealing uh, with business stakeholders a lot and you need to convey your data insights. If you want to learn data scientist skills using free learning resources, then refer to this data science roadmap video on YouTube where I have given week by week study plan using free learning resources and checklist. Now these skills will not only upskill you, it will make you job ready. I can say this with confidence because in my own companies at Lick and Code Basics, I hire data scientists and when I hire them, I look for these skills. I have many senior data scientist friends who are interviewers in many big tech companies and these people also look for these skills. The second career role is AI engineer. Sometimes people call it ML engineer. I have seen job postings where they use a term AI slash ML engineer. They all mean the same thing. AI engineer is a combination of data scientist and software engineer. You will use your data science skills such as math statistics knowledge and Python coding, ML algorithm knowledge to build and train machine learning model. And then you will use your software engineering skills to deploy these models into production and integrate them with the rest of the software apps in your organization. This diagram on the screen is showing tool skills and core skills required for AI engineer role. And once again, if you want to learn these skills using free learning resources, then refer to this particular YouTube video where I have given a complete roadmap with week by week study plan along with free learning resources and checklist. This video got a tremendous response in first two weeks and you can see comments such as this particular person from Vietnam. He's a 30 year old bank employee. He used free learning resources on YouTube to learn AI skills and he got a job as an AI engineer. Salaries for data scientists and AI engineer are kind of same. I'm showing a broad range both in India and US for data scientist and AI engineer role. Now the exit salary that you get depends on three factors, which is your skills and experience your location and the company that is hiring. I would suggest that you go to LinkedIn jobs and search for AI engineer jobs and you will find the skills that each of these jobs are asking for. You will also find that many times people use a variety of career roles such as Gen AI engineer, Gen AI developer, AI software engineer, things like that. They all mean essentially same things. There is slight change in requirements. For example, for Gen AI engineer, you will be focusing mainly on Gen AI, things like LLMs, Langchain framework, etc. But essentially, you are working as an AI engineer. The next two roles are NLP engineer and computer vision engineer. These are specialized AI engineer role. Let's say if you have a general doctor, general physician, that doctor can decide to become a heart doctor or a lung doctor. In similar fashion, AI engineer can 
decide to do specialization in either natural language processing in that case they will become nlp engineer or they can do specialization in computer vision fundamentals and they become computer vision engineer for nlp engineer you need to have strong nlp fundamentals and knowledge of libraries such as nlp spacey etc for computer vision, you need to have strong fundamentals of computer vision and know-how of libraries such as OpenCV, YOLO, etc. The salary range for NLP and computer vision is same as AI engineer. Obviously, depending on company, their exit requirements, these salaries would vary. I have seen many companies who require PhD or who require master's degree when they are hiring either NLP or CV engineers because many times they have this specialized research roles where they require a lot of academic knowledge. When I was working in Bloomberg, we had an AI department where more than 150 AI engineers where PhDs now Bloomberg is a tech company such as Google Facebook etc where they build their own proprietary software and for that they require PhDs majority of the roles do not require PhDs or masters so don't worry about it you have to think about PhD when you go for a very specialized role such as AI research engineer on the screen you can see tool skills and core skills required for both NLP engineer and computer vision engineer all right the next one is ML ops engineer you might have heard about DevOps engineer in the field of software engineering so ML ops engineer is nothing but he or she is a DevOps engineer and they are doing DevOps for machine learning project. That is the only difference. So they will be involved in setting up CI CD pipeline for ML project. They will be using tools such as Amazon SageMaker, which is Amazon's uh, platform for doing machine learning in the cloud. And they will have know-how of specialized tools such as MLflow, Kubeflow, etc. As part of their MLOps job, they will be using Kubernetes, Docker, etc. to deploy ML solutions. This role is perfect for DevOps engineer who are working in traditional software engineering field. They already know the DevOps principle. Now they need to know a few more tools such as ML flow, they need to know some ML uh, principles and then they can easily transition to this role. I'm showing a salary range both in India and US. And by the way, these salary ranges uh, we have come up with based on Glassdoor, based on the research on internet and based on our internal network. In my network, there are a lot of folks who are working as ML ops engineers. So these salary ranges are based on that knowledge. Now you might be wondering how about data analyst and data engineering role? In order to do AI, you need data. And these two career roles are centered around data. Data engineer role especially is very important for any AI project because if data engineer is not building a data pipeline and making data available for AI project, then data scientist or AI engineer will not be able to do their work. To give you analogy, data scientists and AI engineers are like chefs who are making pizza. But for pizza, you need ingredients, cheese, vegetable, etc. And data engineer is a person who provides those raw ingredients. So if they don't provide raw ingredients, your chef who is data scientist or AI engineer will not be able to make pizza. Hence, I'm seeing a huge rise in data engineering jobs. So learning data engineering can be a very good career option that you can go for. Similarly, data analysts, what they do is they perform descriptive analytics. They build dashboards in Power BI, Tableau, etc. And I've seen many industry projects where you do not need AI. Just by doing descriptive analytics, you can get a lot of value. Therefore, the future for data analyst is also bright. If you want to learn these skills using free learning resources, then I have another roadmap for data analyst where I have given all free learning resources and week by week study plan. Now let us discuss non-technical roles. The first one is AI product manager. Recently, there was a news that Netflix is hiring AI product manager for a salary of $900,000 a year. In terms of Indian rupees, that is more than 7 crore rupees. So you can clearly see that there is a huge demand for AI product managers and they get paid really well. On the screen, you are seeing a diagram with both 
tool skills and core skills in tool skills you need to have a know how of product management tools such as jira and asana prototyping tools such as figma sketch road mapping software such as road monk product plan and basics of excel and power bi are always useful because you can do quick analysis for your project you need to be very solid in terms of your core skills which is solid business understanding stakeholder management working with technical teams and for all of that you obviously need communication once again refer to this diagram on the screen and i'm going to attach a pdf file with core and tool skills for every single role that we have mentioned in this video so check video description you will find the link of that pdf i'm showing the salary range both in india and us not that in the us this role is very well established whereas in india it is still evolving as of this recording in march 2024 the next one is ai ethicist or ai ethics executive there is a lot of talks going on in terms of regulating ai protecting private information etc as an ai ethics executive you will be working with ai team and guiding them on ai ethics and government uh, rules compliance etc anyone who has a background as a lawyer or any regulatory background will find this role to be exciting and here are the salaries both in india and us the last non technical role is ai sales executive any person who is working as a sales person in any industry might find this role to be interesting here you need to build know how on ai and ml maybe get familiar with some ai and ml technology and terms and then you can use your existing sales skills to become ai sales representative talking about tool skills you need to have know how of proposal and contract tools such as docusign adobe sign etc and you need to be familiar with crm software such as salesforce hubspot refer to this diagram for complete set of tool and core skills and if you want to build your knowledge on ai ml know how then i am right now building an ai and ml course just for folks like you that course should be available on codebasics.io soon if you are watching this video later in the future then the course might already be available so please check out codebasics.io talking about salaries sales uh, executives they usually get fixed salary and they also get commission sometimes the money that they earn via commission is more than their fixed salaries in atlic technologies we have a sales partner here in texas usa that person made more than $350,000 in the year 2023 referring those projects to us so what they do is they get the project they do some kind of client relationship management and my team in india they execute all these projects so you can see that there is a huge financial potential that you can have in this ai sales representative role we just finished discussing about technical and non technical roles and the immediate question you have is how do i decide which role is the best one for me i'm going to publish a detailed video on that stay tuned i'm planning to publish that video in the next week uh, the link of that video should be available either in video description or pin comment or somewhere in the end card the pdf for all the core and tool skills that we discussed for all the technical and non technical roles in this video is available in the video description please check it out give a thumbs up to this video if you like the content share it with your friends who want to leverage the ai booms and if you have any question there is a comment box below